So I've been playing this Dell PowerEdge um, R2 10 2 and I wanted to upgrade the iDRAC 6 in it. It came with the Express version, I wanted to upgrade it to the Enterprise version. Now the Enterprise version is just a matter of plugging a card in. Um, cards like five, six quid or something, um, which I just picked up off eBay. So we plugged this in addition to the Enterprise 6 uh, Express card and that's it, there's no licenses or anything needed. It'll just give us a full Enterprise features so that we can remotely connect to the uh, console of the operating system through a browser and we can like do remote operating system install, etc. Um, so I'm gonna go ahead and do that now. Pull the top off. So the Express 6 card is here. So we're going to need to take the... This has got a SCSI card in it, which I need to take out anyway, because I'm not using it, but... Um, the Enterprise 6 card goes under here, so we're going to do that for take the SCSI card out. Um, so as you can see, the slot's here for this card. So I'm going to go ahead and take open this card. Um, so, I've got the card to plug in. Um, I've not got a flash card or anything that's in at the moment. So, it does have its own dedicated port for the iDRAC. So let's go ahead and take the spacer out. Put the new one in. Make sure it goes into the slot. So that's it, card's in. So go ahead and put the SCSI card back in. This will be coming out permanently. I'm just sticking it back in. Um, for now, I do have a 10 gig network card on order. Just go ahead and put that in. Pull it on. And that's it, the card is fitted. Okay, I fitted the card, so let's go ahead and check that it works. Um, I'm going to go into Internet Explorer for this. Switch over. Go ahead and log into it. Um, there are some settings we need to make in Internet Explorer. So we need to go into compatibility view settings. We need to add the address of this machine in. Um, we need to go into internet options, security, trusted sites. Um, and we need to add the IP address in as well. Okay, so we can log in. And you'll notice here it says Access control with six enterprise. And we now have the console and media options. And the console has appeared here. Um, so we needed to set trusted sites uh, and compatibility view settings just to get it working basically. Um, you won't get the launch console setting working properly if you don't do that. And with the latest versions of um, Java having options blocked, the security options blocked, it's uh, just easier to do it through Internet Explorer and you don't really have to mess about anyway. So we can go ahead and launch the console.
And I have a console. Um, so we can log in from here. Oh, hang on. So we can go ahead, we can install software from there. Um, if you don't go in and put the IP address of the server into trusted sites, you'll be able to pull the console up. Um, you might have issues installing the ActiveX control. If you do get it installed without putting it in there, um, you'll have no keyboard access basically and you won't be able to do anything. Um, but yeah, it's dead easy to get going, that's it. We're all up and running. So I hope this helps if you're um, trying to get an iDrax, if you're interested in installing an iDrax 6 Enterprise card in a Dell R210. Um, please go ahead, hit like, and don't forget to subscribe to the channel to um, get updates on future videos. Thank you.